today, Carnival comes to light up this North London school. Pupils from three schools in disadvantaged areas of London are being given the chance to show whether they can master the art of sculpture in just one day. We're going to do a very special project today and we're going to work all day making a carnival dancer. Trilby and Judy run intensive one-day workshops, a term's worth of classes in one. These ambitious lessons are funded by the government and the design to stretch and challenge pupils in ways that may not be available in their own schools. So hopefully I'm going to use today to further the art club and get them to model and teach um, costume designs to the other children that would be interested in doing it. Has anyone been to a carnival? Yeah, what happened? Is it quiet? No, it's um, loud. It's noisy and the dance and the play music. Music, that's right. All through the streets, there are parades of people in fantastic costumes. Originally in Africa, they developed this fantastic way of making these incredible costumes. We are going to think about birds for our carnival. We're going to be making something which will be a part person and part bird. Trilby has given the class the historical context and shown them all sorts of visual references. Will any of these mixed ability children be up to the challenge? Position your model here into a sort of dancing position, then look through the references and you choose a bird that you think you would really be able to make a good costume from. From the schools that we come into contact with, many of them have such pressures in the school day that they find it very difficult to squeeze in an art lesson once a week for half a term a year. So getting them to do five hours a week, I don't know when teachers will manage to find the time to do that. I love the way, Jude, that you've put your bird's legs flying up in the air there. That's real fun for Carnival. She's got fantastic colours too. Think about how nature has put colours together. In the years that we've been teaching art, and particularly in about the last eight years, we've noticed an enormous decline in children's making skills. Many of them are quite unable to do very much at all with their hands. The armature is the metal understructure. If you look over there in the corner, look, we've got a skeleton. The armature is like the structure that's going to hold our sculpture up, just in the same way as our bones are our skeleton that holds us up. We're going to make it out of special sculpture wire like this. The wire is very sharp on the ends. To help us make it just a little bit safer, we're going to put a bit of masking tape on each end to cover up the sharp bit. children's skills are getting poorer and poorer and what we could expect a few years ago a child in a year four class to be able to do they certainly can't do it now because they're getting less opportunities in school to develop very simple skills that we all take for granted like cutting a straight line or tearing a piece of masking tape now watch I'm going to bring the feet together like that okay so I want you to all bring your feet together like that. We're going to then squeeze it just gently up here because at the top we said we were going to make the head so we're just going to squeeze that in a bit 
right gently, right at the top. We've got what looks like the beginnings of a head here, look. Cross the legs over like that. You watch, and I'm going to pull it like that. And I want the head to be quite small. They're doing far less activities that require them to use their hands. And I think it's quite hard as well for teachers in their busy curriculum to manage to get the resources together. Um, time is just incredibly short. Yeah, fabulous. That's perfect. I think it's hardly surprising, you know, that we're short of bricklayers and plumbers and electricians and engineers. If it doesn't stand Let me see you stick it on there. Yeah. When we started working with primary children, we saw how, with specialist teaching in art, they could make such fantastic progress and we could build their confidence and skills to such a level um, that we were very excited by that. I can't do it properly enough. Quite difficult to do this. By looking at the model, you think it would be really, really, really difficult, but it's not as difficult as you think it would be. Um, yeah, I think it's coming along quite well. In my drawing, I'm going to um, plan to take um, a really long neck um, up here, sort of like this right there. And because that one's in black and white, I'm going to do it um, with a peacock design on it because I prefer to make up my own designs. What do we need to think about? What's absolutely essential for a bird? You wings. Tell me. Wings. Well done. And if we think about wings, you know, we're going to have to think symmetry. Do you remember we were saying earlier on? What does symmetry mean if they're going to be symmetrical? Sylvia? Same on this, each side. The same on each side. Um, our lessons fit right in with the national curriculum. We work on units of work that progress, and today's workshop has been really like six lessons rolled into one. I never did a sculpture before. I used to do drawing when I was in re re reception, and, and my teacher used to call me an artist. I was my favourite subject because you can do so much decorations and colours and do some scribbling and, and it can be very realistic and, and when it's realistic it, it just gets better and better. Fabulous work. We're now going to make the figure a bit stronger by putting a layer of paper mache on it. If you haven't quite finished your card extensions, do that first. If you have, clear the decks and get ready to glue. One other thing, Jim. Yeah. What about the position of their Yeah, dancers? we'll need to do that as well, won't we, Trilby? So you're going to think about, you know, these are moving dancers. And you might want to have a leg raised up or a leg coming behind so they look as though they're running along.
So we're ready now to start thinking about adding colour to these birds and really bringing them to life. And we're going to add colour using collage papers. You're going to now think just as designers and you're going to choose colours that go with your bird. Think about feather patterns. In June, we're going to have our own school carnival. I'm leading that because I'm from Trinidad and carnival is part of my culture. So I'm hoping that this, today's forum would be used as well so that the kids will have that opportunity to teach children and prepare them for their own carnival. I think the children all achieved in making a sculpture that they were pleased with. And I think that that will encourage them to look positively at art in the future. I think it's really important to get children young and to encourage their enthusiasm. Shall we have a look at some of these sculptures, Trilby, and see how they've got on? I think some of you have done exceptional work. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't know where to start, but if we have a look at this one, Sylvia's. There's Sylvia. There. And we can all see what sort of bird she was making, can't we? What sort of bird is it? Peacock. Peacock. Yeah, a peacock. It's a peacock. It's incredible, isn't it? That tangle of feathers. And I love the beak. Look how well she's cut it. I like the way she's put one colour on top of another there and stapled them all through. She started doing something that's very challenging. And I thought, when I first saw this, I thought, she's got so many feathers. Will she manage to do what she set out to do? But she worked so hard that, at the end of the day, you know, what an achievement. My eye has just fallen now on this one, Ooh. here. Which, again, look at those lovely feathery shapes that have been collaged on those wings. Whose is this one? This is and wonderful. That's yours. Is it? Brilliant. There are lots of challenges and lots of difficulties and lots of skills to be learned. But if they stick with it, they get over the, the huge hurdles and their work suddenly comes back into focus and uh, they're thoroughly pleased with it. I think they do need to see that a lot of commitment and hard work, um, as well as enjoyment, of course, because we're talking about art, so it has to be enjoyable. But they, we want them to see how it all pays off. Oh, Julia. I'm just shattered. Yes, well, I shattered. I mean, we're wearing this course in here on Monday. I know. The whole lot's got these. Yeah. I know. Can't do that without a cup of tea.